Hi everyone, so this is Teacher Marilyn. This is uh, part 2 ng video ko on linear equations. So, dun sa part 1, diniscuss ko dun yung basics na ginagawa natin sa linear equation kung paano makapag-solve ng unknown value. So, this time naman, gagawin na natin yung mga combination. So, ito na yung medyo mas mahirap na examples for linear equation. So, for example, dito meron akong 2x plus 4 equals 8. Okay, so, para masagot ako sa x, ang una ko muna titingnan, ano ba yung una kong pwedeng alisin? Okay, so, ang pagtanggal natin ng mga kasama ng x is, um, magsisimula tayo sa pinakamalayo sa kanya. Okay, so, ang pinakamalayo sa kanya is ito, yung positive 4. So, para malis natin to dito, transpose natin siya dito sa kabilang side. Okay, so, magiging ganito siya. 2x equals 8, and then mag-change ang sign ng 4. So, dating positive magiging negative. Ayan. Sagutan natin. So, 2x equals 4. Ayan. Kasi 8 minus 4 equals 4. Now, to solve 4x, so, para masolve natin yung may, ang kasama ng x is 2. So, since nakamultiply siya, so, kailangan nating i-divide. Okay. So, divide both sides of the equation by 2. Kaya, x now is equal to positive 2. Okay. So, tingnan natin kung tama. So, balik tayo sa equation natin na 2x plus 4 equals 8. So, yung 2, pa, uh, yung x papalitan, yung value ng x dito, papalitan lang natin ng 2. Ayan. And then, plus 4 equals 8. So, 2 times 2 equals 4 plus 4. So, itong 4 times 4 is indeed equal to 8. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, since tama yung ating since parehas yung ating left side and right side of the equation, ibig sabihin, tama yung ating solution. Okay, in my next example, so meron tayo dito 14 equals 3 plus 2x. Okay, so again, so para masolve natin si x, kailangan muna natin itanggalin kung ano yung malayo sa kanya. So, ang pinakamalayo sa kanya is ito, yung positive 3. So, lipat natin si positive 3 dito sa other side ng equation. So, pag nilipat natin ito, mangyayari, mag-change siya ng sign. So, magiging 14 minus 3 equals 2x. So, 14 minus 3 gives you 11. Okay? So, this is equal now to 2x. So, para masolve natin si x, so, ang kasama ni x is 2, nakamultiply siya, so, kailangan natin i-divide both sides of the equation by 2. Kaya, ang sagot natin is x is equal to 11 over 2. Okay, so, Check natin kung tama yung sagot natin. So, para ma-check natin, so, balik lang tayo sa dating equation. So, 14 is equal to 3 plus 2 over x. So, itong 2, I mean, itong x, papalitan natin siya ng 11 over 2. Yan. Okay. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito, makakancel yung 2. Is kaya magiging 14 is equal to 3 plus 11. So, itong 3 plus 11 is indeed equal to 14. Yung left side is just equal to the right side of the equation. So, therefore, tama yung ating sagot. So, dito naman sa next example ko, meron akong 3 times x minus 2 equals 6. So, kapag ganito na meron kayong um, factor sa loob ng parenthesis, so, ang gagawin muna natin, i-distribute muna natin yung constant. So, ibig sabihin, i-multiply muna natin yung 3 sa bawat isa. So, meron, na, meron tayo ngayon dito na 3x, and then 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. So, this one is equal to 6. Okay, so, para matanggal natin yung kasama ng x, so, pinakamalayo sa kanya is itong negative 6. So, kailangan natin ito i-transpose sa other side. So, pag tinranspose natin yan, magiging positive. Kaya, magiging 6 plus 6. Kaya, 3x now is equal to uh, 12. Okay, so, para masagutan natin to, so, anong sunod natin gagawin? So, di-divide natin both sides of the equation by 3. Yan, para matanggal natin si 3. So, x now is equal to 12 divided by 3 is 4. So, to check kung tama yung sagot natin na x is equal to 4, so, balik tayo ulit sa ating equation na 3, and then x minus 2 equals 6. So, palitan natin yung x ng... 4, kasi yun yung nasagot natin dito, no? So, 4 minus 2, is this equal to 6? So, 3 and then 4 minus 2 is 2. 
Okay, so yung 3 times 2 is indeed equal to 6. Ayan, so since left side is just equal to the right side, so therefore, tama yung ating sagot. Okay, so here in my next example, meron akong um, 3x plus 2x plus 6 equals negative 15. Okay, so kapag ganito ang gagawin natin, since meron tayong dalawang terms dito na may x, ikaw combine muna natin siya. So 3x plus 2x equals 5x. Ayan, then plus 6 equals negative 15. So, again, kailangan natin i-transpose itong si positive 6 dito sa kabilang side para maiwan na lang si 5x. So, mangyayari kay 6 is magiging negative siya. Kaya magiging negative 15 minus 6. So, 5x is equal to negative 21. Kasi negative, 5, uh, negative 15 plus negative 6 is equal to uh, minus negative 6, minus 6 is equal to negative 21. Okay, so next, to solve for 5x, uh, di-divide natin both sides by 5 para makuha natin yung value ng x. Yan, so therefore, ang value ng ating x is equal to negative 21 over 5. Okay, so check natin kung tama yung sagot natin. So, para ma-check kung tama, so, balik tayo dito sa equation na 3x plus 2x plus 6 is equal to negative 15. Okay, so, yung x papalitan natin ng negative 21 over 5. Ganun din sa kabila. So, palitan natin itong negative 21 over 5 plus 6 equals negative 15. Okay, so, itong... Um, Okay, this one, yung sa una, mag-3 times negative 21 will give you negative 63 over 5. Plus, ito naman, 2 times negative 21 over 5 is uh, negative 42 over 5. Yan. Plus 6 is negative 15. Okay, so pag inan natin itong dalawa, since like, um, since similar fraction sila or same denominator, so this one now is equal to negative 105 over 5. Okay? Plus 6 is equal to negative 15. So itong negative 105 over 5 will give you negative 21. Okay? Plus 6 is equal to negative 15. Okay, so negative 21 plus 6 is indeed equal to negative 15. So since parehas lang yung ating left side and right side of the equation, ibig sabihin tama yung ating sagot. Now here on my next example, meron naman ako dito 4 over 7 is equal to x over 21. Okay, so para masagutan natin yung value ng x, okay, so pag ganito na meron ko yung parang dalawang fraction, so pinakamadali nito is ikakos multiply nyo. Like this. Okay? So, magiging ganito siya. 4 times 21, okay, equals 7x. Ayan. So, para masagutan natin yung value na x, so divide natin both sides by 7. Ayan. So, makakansal na si 7. So, now, meron tayong x is equal to, okay, so, itong 21 over 7 is just equal to 3. So, 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Yan. So, therefore, x is equal to 12. So, tingnan natin kung tama yung sagot natin. Okay. So, 4 over 7 is this equal to x over 21. So, kung papalitan natin dito yung si x ng 12 over 21. Okay. So, um, kung ikukunin natin yung lowest term ng 12 over 21, so pag dinivide natin to parehas by 3, okay? so makukuha natin na sagot is 4 over 7. Yan. So ibig sabihin your left side is just equal to the right side. So therefore, tama yung ating nakuha na solution. So sa so next video ko, i-discuss ko naman doon kung paano tayo makakapag-derive ng equations na ginagamit natin sa mga formulas.